I would like to request Dipanjali ma'am to speak something about International Mole Day. Good morning, everyone. Today I am here to speak a few lines about the International Mole Day. Dear children, you must be thinking why we are celebrating this day. So, whenever we are going to talk about 12th, 12 means a dozen, 20, 20 stands for score. Similarly, rim, rim means 500. No one is speaking, give me 500 number of papers. Rather, everyone is asking, give me a ream of paper. Dear children, whenever we are going to talk about the world of chemistry, we know every matter, it is made up of small tiny particles named as atoms, molecules or ions. So dear children, have you ever thought Whenever we are going to talk about atoms, molecules, and ions, they are very small and tiny. Even they are in the microscopic level. So is it possible to count humanly? Is it possible to count this incredible number of particles? So, dear children, really it is not possible. For that, a great scientist named as Lorenzo Romano, Amidio, Carlo Avogadro, Dai Quareca, Edi Carito. He had given this big number that is 6.022 into 10 to the power 23, which is named as Avogadro number, or we can say one mole. Whenever Lorenzo Romano, he had given this number, nobody had accepted the number, but Afterwards, many scientists, they have already proved the number is very, very correct to count the number of particles, particularly microscopic level of particles, particularly 18 number of experiments already proved that this number is the exact number. So dear children, today in the International Mole Day, we are celebrating on 23rd of October from 6 to a.m. to 6 to p.m. in order to remember the great person, in order to remember the big name that is Avogadro number or one mole. So now the question arises, why should we remember this big number? Why should we learn about this mole? Dear children, you must be knowing Mole has a great contribution in our day-to-day -day life, in our real life. Whenever we are going to think about the medicine, medicine has a great role in our life. Children, do you know the medicines of different concentrations are prepared by taking the tar mole? Without mole, we cannot prepare different concentration of solutions, particularly Whenever we are solving problems in the chapters like chemical kinetics, solid states, mole has a great impact on that chapters only. So dear children, here I would like to say, Amidu Abogadro, the person who had given this mole that is 6.022 into 10 to the 23, it is the seventh base unit, which indicate the amount of substances. So here today, we all teachers of DVCS food would like to pay tribute to Amitio Avogadro for his excellence in the field of chemistry. So without any delay, dear students, kindly remember, Avogadro is famous for his law named as Avogadro law. So today we all are paying tribute to him by saying his law. So now Priyansika is going to present a song and every line of this song is speaking about his law that is equal volume of all gases under similar conditions of temperature and pressure contain equal number of molecules. Let's listen to Priyansika. <laughs> Balloons, 
filled with different gases. Equal volumes, but they both have different masses. If conditions are the same everywhere, tell me how their number of molecules compare. Why is his hypothesis so great? Cause you can use it to find atomic weights. It's based on the ratio of the masses of equal volume of those gases. Equal volumes of gases at the same temperature and pressure have the same number of molecules. Yes, Amadeo, Avogadro, and that's his hypothesis, and that's his hypothesis, and that's his hypothesis. Thank you for your patience hearing. Have a good day, and dear children, all the best for your examination.